have you ever heard the saying that the money is in the follow-up and that is no different for travel advisors and so in this training we're going to talk about how your follow-up game needs to be improved not only that that you need to automate it and opportunities for you to personalize your follow-up either in email or text message my name is sunday gardner and i come to you every week talking all things launching and operating a successful and profitable travel business and today i'm going to actually show you a prompt that I created that's designed to be used after you have someone download any of your lead magnets or what I call a stranger offer. I created this prompt to do a five part email series that automatically will go out to a client once they've downloaded a guide. I'm going to show you how AI with the power of a great prompt, how it can automatically create that email content for you. And all that you need to do is set it up in your email marketing tool of choice. You can use Travel Pro Suite to do that, or you can use your own email marketing tool. So let's let me show you exactly how the prompt works. And then after that, I'm going to actually show you some examples of automated prompts that you can create or actually automated emails or text messages that you can create using AI and then how you can personalize your follow up emails and text messages with the help of AI as well. So let's get started. We have ChatGPT open, and so I'm going to actually paste the prompt that we have. And if you are part of our AI for travel advisors, all you have to do is go to the guide that is saved at the top of this, and this guide includes this prompt. So this prompt, again, is a five-part email series. I've already put in some key information about the um um, my name, the Bali, uh, the destination, a little bit about the client and the call to action that I want the email prompt to do. And quickly, what you see here is now you've got five emails that automatically get created. My uh, ChatGPT already has our salutation, my name. You, you can obviously customize that. It's already referencing the guide that I've been talking about with it over the last couple of days as we've been perfecting our prompts. So it's already included all of this information here. This prompt is available to you again in the free guide in our AI for Travel Advisors Facebook group. So if you're not already a member, go ahead and join us. Click on the link that's included in this uh, video and join us inside that group and download that. Now, what I'd like to do is talk to you about not only the power of you just see quickly with when you have a, a prompt how quickly it can actually create that output for you what i want to do is now talk to you about some automated series that you need to have inside of your travel business to ensure that you are maximizing your own uh, uh, follow-up game so the first we're going to talk we're going to actually break this up into two types of follow-ups that you should have the first one is going to be automated follow-ups. Now, if you've got Travel Pro Suite, we have a lot of these follow-ups already available inside of the program and ready for you to use. All you have to do is review them and then customize them if there's any uh, language that you want to update. But if you don't have the uh, Travel Pro Suite, these are some that you would want to have inside of your email marketing tool that's set up already based on specific events that happen in your business. So the first one that we're going to do is a welcome series. So when somebody joins your list, what you want them to do is be welcomed, right? So let's say they download your guide or they join your, maybe you've just had a, uh, they've joined your list through a discovery call. However, they join your list, there should always be some sort of welcome series that is triggered when they join either based on the event, which is the download, or just by virtue of them joining your list. Maybe you want to have them um, get um, uh, introduced who you are, who your business is, and how much the bomb.com you are. So it's a simple series. We usually have a three-part welcome series to our list or a five-part series. And this is really for new subscribers to your travel business. This introduces your services. This is something that should be evergreen that you can add to it. 
I have in the past had a welcome series that was upwards of 30 days. So once somebody joins my list, they ultimately will get 30 emails that I've built over time that they get introduced to who I am and what they can expect. Now, the beauty of AI is that AI can help you with that. It can help you create your three part or five part welcome series to your list. Um, and guide the client to an action. And ultimately for you travel advisors, the action should be to book a discovery call or fill out your travel request or book one of your group trips. So that would be a really good way to do that. Number two automated workflow that you can have in your travel business is a monthly newsletter. Or if you're doing a, let's say a weekly blog, you want to have a recurring newsletter that goes out of your business to your email list that gives gives them general travel trip uh travel tips or maybe featured destinations. If you've got a itinerary of promotions that you're doing, you want to feature those destinations. And then if you're running promotions throughout the course of your travel business, we run promotions monthly. If you're doing monthly or quarterly promotions, using your newsletter as a way to promote that is really a great idea. AI can not only help you with writing the content for the email, but it also can help you write the newsletter that you generate. So let's say you want to feature a destination every month. AI can help you with writing the content for that newsletter. And then you want to add people to that list. The other thing that AI or automated follow-up sequence that you would want is a general reminder follow-up sequence. And this is used for people who haven't opened up your email. So if you've got people that are adding, that are coming on your list and they haven't been opening up your emails, you want to re-engage them. So creating an email series that says, hey, I haven't heard from you. Do you still, are you still interested or something like that is a really good way to make sure that your list stays fresh and that you don't have a bunch of dead weight on your list. AI can help you with generating friendly reminders to reintroduce your services and reintroduce yourself. You can also personalize the content in there based on how long they've been inactive on your list or that kind of stuff. The other thing that is great to automate is seasonal offerings. At the time of this recording, we are just about closing third quarter of 2004. And so two th uh, third quarter's ending, fourth quarter's about to begin, which is the beginning of holiday season, which is the holiday frenzy. This is the time for you to be actually setting up your seasonal offers and get that set up on automation. I actually just remembered, um, not remembered, we actually do this every September, just sent a task out to our VA team and said, it's September, it's time to get your our 2025 um, holiday, holiday um, per, not per, um, content out and ready for uh, the next year. So we set up a year's worth of content automated for the upcoming year. We do that every September. So all of the holidays are already accounted for. And then we also do our Black Friday and holiday promotion planning in September. So this is a great time for you to set up those automated emails and text messages and social media posts that need to go out in celebration of the upcoming, upcoming holiday season. Then if you have number five is if you have a loyalty program or a um, referral program, setting up that automation to let people know that you have a referral program, reminding them that of it, and maybe also doing promotional um, reminders about your referral program. I would recommend doing that quarterly. Setting that up in automation is really good. And then post-trip follow-up. This is sort of a no-brainer. The minute somebody comes back from the trip, there is nothing like the high of concluding a trip, making sure that you have a follow-up sequence directly after the trip that not only gets your feedback, but then has an opportunity for them to book again. And then also setting that up maybe at the six month and then also at the year follow-up as a reminder. And then I love having tip series. So creating a travel tip series that you have already as an automation, you know, tagging that um, right after they uh, finish your welcome series and then go into a travel tip series. That's also another great thing. 
Another great thing to think about in terms of automation is, let's say you have different segments that you work with, or you, let's say you do adventure travel, you do um, wedding destinations, and maybe there's different types of travel that you specialize in, having different travel tips for each of those different travel types that you specialize in, and then having people enter into them based on uh, tag triggers that you do. All of these are great ways for you to automate the workflow or automate the follow-up that you have with your clients. What I would say is for every follow-up that you have, have a, have a call to action goal associated with each follow-up so that when you create the follow-up, you are leading somebody to an action, either a booking a discovery call, downloading maybe a destination specific itinerary that you know that you're getting ready to promote. Book now is actually an action that you can do as well. The objective is, is to put this content in automation. So you don't have to think about it. When the event occurs, it automatically kicks off and people start getting that communication. If you've ever heard of my ARC process, which stands for Attract, Relate, and Convert, this is really good for the relationship part. So getting people on your list is great, but having some way to automate it, automate, um, automate the way that you relate to them by creating these follow-up sequences or email sequences is a really good, good way to build the relationship. Now, quickly, I'm going to give you some personalized ways that you can follow up your game really quick. So post consultation follow up, if you're doing discovery calls or if you meet with your clients, having a follow up sequence already ready that you can actually put in the details and then send it to your client. That's really a great personalized follow-up. So you already have the email structure ready and all you have to do is attach it to the email and then start putting the personalized content. You can also have AI help you with personalizing. You put in the details of how the, the consultation went and then put that into AI to help you actually personalize that message. An abandoned cart follow-up. This is actually something that you can do in automation, but actually when somebody signs up for, or they start to buy, but they don't finish the buy, actually having a sequence of uh, uh, emails that go out that let them know, hey, you started the buy, but you didn't finish, here's a link and go and uh, buy. That's something that we absolutely can do inside of our software. What I also, number three, is an expiring quote follow-up. So this would be if you sent out a proposal and let's say your proposal expires in three days, we actually have this in automation as well, but you can send in three or whatever the time that you have set. We do an expiring quote uh, follow-up email. I think it's uh, set for three days, but you can personalize that follow-up and send out an email directly after, let's say two days, and you can have AI help you with this personalized quote that you've done, and then do a follow-up after that. I think this is also a great automated follow-up. We have that as a part of our travel request proposal follow-up. Number four, personalized follow-up that you can create is a birthday or anniversary follow-up. You know, if you've got VIP clients that you work with, I love, you know, actually creating a email that's very personal about them and what they've got doing. But, you know, I love automation. So, you know, we could actually create a field in the system where you populate personal information about the client, set up the automation that looks at their birthday and then puts in that personalized comment that you put about your client. I love automation and there's always an opportunity if you can, you want to look for opportunities to automate the process. And then the other personalized email or text message that you can set up and have AI help you with is a recap. So after your discovery calls or after your personal calls that you have with your client, you can actually use AI to put in some information about the notes of the call and help you write the um, recap summary 
Now, again, I love AI and I love um, automating the process. We use a tool by the name of Fireflies AI that is attached to every call that we do. And AI is actually recapping our calls as they go and it's providing that summary. So I don't need to even use ChatGPT to do that. Fireflies AI does that. So I'm gonna include the link to Fireflies. I am an affiliate of them, but it is an amazing tool. There's several um, tools that are like that. I think even Zoom has an AI um, component to it that can recap. Listen, AI is the bomb.com and you should be utilizing it wherever you can to help automate the conversation that you have and the relationship that you have with your clients. So summarizing meetings is a great AI tool. So if you don't have a tool that does that, I absolutely recommend having a AI companion to your conference calls so that it can help do this sort of recap for you. Listen, we are going to continue the conversation directly after this inside of our office hours. So if you have anything that you'd like to talk about, don't uh, hesitate to join us inside of office hours. We also have our video visibility challenge that is starting next month. So do not uh, miss your opportunity to get early bird pricing for $1. Join us inside of our video visibility. Listen, don't leave the money on the table. Get your follow-up game strong, and I'll see you in the next training. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.